Hey there, it's Mr. Vesda, and I'm here with your Letter of the Day video. If you're watching this video, this is probably your first online Letter of the Day of the Week. You probably did J yesterday at school with me, and now you're online and you're going to check out the letter K. Okay? We've got capital K and we've got lowercase k here. Now, letter K is a very important letter for us, um, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. But first, just check out the capital and lowercase version for K. They're kind of the, uh, very similar in shape when we uh, write them. So just relax, chill, and listen to our K video. Now, we're going to take a look at a bunch of words that start with K. Before we do that, we need to know the sound. Now, the letter K makes the sound K. Now, when I make that sound K for you, you're probably starting to think, well, Mr. Vesda, you taught us that the letter C makes the sound K. And that's still totally right. What I'm here to say is the letter K makes the same sound as the letter C. The letter C says K, and the letter K says K. Practice making that sound, even though I already know you know how to make it from the letter C. Say K. Very good. Let's do it three times in a row. Say K, K, K. Awesome. I love it. Now, I will tell you this. Later on, a couple months from now, you will learn all about why the letter C and the letter K make the same sound and when you are supposed to use the letter C and when you're supposed to use the letter K. But we're not there yet, okay? I just want you to relax and remember that K makes the same sound as C. And now we'll look at uh, K in some words that start with a sound. Okay, so let's check them out. So once again, we have our capital K and lowercase k. Let's get into our word list. First, we have a kebab. Can you say kebab? The word kebab starts with the letter K and the sound K. Here's kale. Can you say kale? Kale is a vegetable that starts with K and the letter K. Now we have kangaroos. Can you say kangaroos? We use the letter K for kangaroos, or for K at the beginning of kangaroos. Here we have a kayak. Can you say kayak? Kayak starts with K. Here's a kazoo. Say kazoo. Now here is a kettle. Practice saying kettle. You should be hearing the K sound at the beginning of all these words. Next is a key. Say key. Here we have a keyboard. Now keyboard you can look, and we can see two words smashed together, so we know it's a compound word. Key, board, keyboard. The word key is a word by itself, and board is a word by itself, but we can smash them together to make something new. Here's kite. The word kite starts with k, and we use k. Aw, oh, here we have a kitten. The kitten. Kitten starts with K. Here's a fruit. This fruit is called kiwi. Say kiwi. Next, we have an animal, and this animal is a koala bear. Say koala bear. Here's our list of all 12 K words we just practiced. Let's go through and say them one more time. Say kebab. Kale, kangaroos, kayak, kazoo, kettle, key, keyboard, kite, kitten, kiwi, koala bears. All of these words start with K, and instead of using C, we're going to use K. 
like I said, don't worry. You're going to learn all about different words when we use C and when we use K. All right. Your next job is very important. We're going to practice writing capital K and writing lowercase k at the big board. So I'll see you there in a second. All right, here we are. We're at the big board together, and we're going to practice with capital K and lowercase k. Now, both capital K and lowercase k are going to be three lines that come together to make the same shape, or to make the K shape. So what we want to do is when we start with capital K, is we start with a straight line down. You're prob probably noticing a lot of our capital letters start with a straight line down. Now, after I make that straight line down, I'm going to pick up and I'm going to go back to the top and I'm going to make a slanted line into the middle like this. And then to finish the K shape, I'm going to make another slanted line down to the bottom. And I have a perfect capital K. All right, let's, let's do two more together here. Just watch me. Straight line down, I pick it up. Slanted line into the middle and then another one down to the bottom. Okay. One more. I'll go a little faster. Straight line down, pick up, slant in, slant down. Okay. And then I'm going to do uh, one more here. Just watch me go fast. And we've got four capital K's on the board. All right, let's talk about lowercase k. All right, lowercase k is a very similar shape, and it's still going to start with a, a very, very tall uh, line that goes from the top to the bottom. The only thing that is different about lowercase k is when we make our other two lines, they're just a little smaller. Okay? They're not as, the slanted lines aren't as big as my capital. So practice doing that. I know this might be a little tricky, but practice doing that on your own, on your own paper. Make sure your lowercase k's do look a little bit smaller than your capital k's. Okay, so you're about to be an expert with the letter k. You know what capital k and lowercase k look like. We looked at 12 words that start with the letter k and the sound k. And now we practice writing capital K and practice writing lowercase k, and you should be good to practice on your own. Great job listening today, and uh, I hope you do a good job on your own with the letter K.